Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of old holders that we ended up submitting to CAC. Which ones stickered, which ones didn't sticker, which ones gold stickered. We're going to be showing you guys all these in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. And we hope you learned something. So, we got coins that didn't sticker, and we're going to talk about why they didn't sticker. The first coin I want to show you out of that group is the 1834 Cap Bust Hap. It's great AU55, it's in a rattler. Definitely a hard type coin to find in an older holder, so we wanted to submit this one just in case it had a shot at stickering, but I feel like there's too many hairlines on this coin, and that's what's to be expected. A lot of these cap bust halves did have a lot of old cleaning on them, and unfortunately this one didn't pass. But let's show you guys the rest and tell you why they didn't pass as well. So here's the group that didn't pass. Let's start off with the top left, something that's obvious here. This is an, a York commemorative half. It did get a PVC sticker. So basically there's some green film somewhere on the coin. Um, I said there was some green on the shield and it's kind of hard to pick up in this video, but it's pretty evident under a grading lamp. And so we wanted to see if it would get a PVC sticker or not, just so we can learn from it. And I think Colin will see that and you know use it for a reference for future commemoratives or future coins that he wants to submit in Rattlers. There's a lot of coins in P with PVC on them, especially in these older holders. I'm um, taking a look at this coin. There's some more like film or green spots right on the Texas there on the Eagle. And if you look at the strike, I'm not sure if it's that weak, but I always look kind of at the knee as normal. And I don't think it's that weak, but I just don't think he likes that spotting. I'm trying to see if there's any other hits in the fields, but it's kind of tough. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. So this 1891 proof V nickel. It's almost like a hazy proof. Everything on the obverse is super hazy. There's some hair lines. To me, it's an unattractive coin, something that I wouldn't really think would be great to submit personally. And you guys are going to see later in this video the coins that actually ended up gold cacking were the ones that I sold him. But that's good to hear. At least we know that we're picking out some good coins for some collectors. Um, yeah. That one, it's just too many hairlines in my opinion, and it just wasn't a, an attractive coin. Same thing with this one. This is a 1910 Proof 63. Just super unattractive. Almost looks like an impaired proof on this one. You know, you can see kind of the, the darkness on the stars. I don't know if it's been cleaned or not. It's just it's something that I don't think would ever sticker in my opinion. Definitely good to learn from though. This is an 1881S Morgan Dollar. I think this one didn't sticker because if you look at the, the obverse of the coin, there's just such a film of hay. There's so much haze here and film that it just really makes the coin unattractive. And he takes off a lot of points for coins that are heavily filmed or have a lot of haze on the coin. And that on the obverse just wasn't good for him. And there's a few kind of big hits on the reverse. I don't know if that really would hold it back from getting a sticker by itself. Another proof V nickel here. Thing they don't like about this coin is this giant spot in front of the nose. And there's a spot, like kind of a, a carbon spot right on the star up here. So that carbon spot probably held it out of the money for sure. Definitely a, a nice coin in my opinion. There's some more spots on the reverse, just not going to cut it for this submission. Here's 1879 three cent nickel. It's graded in mid state 63. Let's see why it didn't pass. So there's a few spots on the face, but I'm not sure if that's a, an issue for this coin. Once again, it's kind of hazy. So flip it over the reverse. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's just some hairlines on the coin. And uh, the hairlines might have hold it back just because it's a, a mid state coin. Most of the time you would find a lot of, you know, a lot of hairlines on proofs, but not really on, on mint state coins. And that's something that you should kind of stray away from. And this one had some hairlines, I think, on the reverse. It's kind of hard to pick up, but I can see it with my naked eye. Yeah, it is what it is. This is a 1926S Oregon commemorative half. And the face looks pretty nice. And there's some kind of haze and then dark environmental spots right here hugging the rim. I think that's something that held this coin back from a sticker. I do think the surfaces are pretty decent though. More haze on the reverse as normal, which we're adding onto these spots here. 
Definitely a nice coin though. Sad it didn't sticker. Here's a pretty cool coin from this submission that didn't sticker. 1917 Type 1 64 full head. The reason why I like this coin a little bit is just because of the toning on the obverse. Kind of some bluish reds. And uh, I think this coin was dipped. Maybe over dipped. Not too sure. But it ended up, did not end up passing with CAC. Still some luster on the coin though. Decent type coin for sure. The last coin is the one we talked about earlier. It's this 1834 half. The AU55. Buster's there, but there's some hairlines in front of the face. I think most cap busts have this, and that's kind of the problem. They were just a series that was cleaned so often and had a lot of problems. But yeah, these are the ones that didn't sticker. So let's talk about the coins that did pass, the ones that green stickered. My favorite one of the submission that did sticker is this 1921 Peace Dollar, it's graded MS64, it's in a rattler holder. And the cool thing about this coin stickering is that a lot of the time, you know, a higher price coin, especially with the sticker, goes up in price dramatically. And when it's in a rattler as well, I mean, you're just hitting the, the double whammy here with this coin. I do love its originality. Uh, I do like its strike. I love the color, the subtle color that it has on both sides of the coin. But yeah, let's show you guys the rest of the coins that did sticker. Let's learn something from those as well. Are you guys looking for coins for your collection? Make sure to check out our online coin shop, AkushaCollectibles.com. We'll have a link down below. We also have merchandise that we just released, a new Ismetis shirt, and also a Morgan Man shirt. Just something for you guys to rep while you're at coin shows or at the gym. Uh, yeah, let's get back to today's video. So here are the rest of the green beans. Let's show you guys this Tone Morgan dollar first. Not an old holder, but he wanted it submitted. Very unique in terms of its kind of odd toning. It's, it's kind of like a little loop here. Definitely a cool reverse toner. Don't see too much toning on 1879Ps. And so the luster is pretty nice on the reverse as well. Definitely a lot green bean. I like that coin a lot. This one I didn't agree with. I think it's not a stickerable coin. You can take a look at the obverse. It kind of looks a little cameo. Nice little blue here. A few subtle hairlines in the fields as normal for proof. When you flip it over, I just did not like this. Almost like a hazy brownish color right here under and above one dime. And I didn't think John would like this coin. I told him it wouldn't sticker. But hey, I'm glad to be wrong when it benefits everybody, right? So we got two Morgan dollars here that he wanted me to submit. Just nice blast white Morgans. Nothing too crazy about them. There's this grays on the face. That might have held this coin back from a gold sticker. Not too sure. Uh, the, the strong strike is there. And there's a little haze on the reverse and a few distracting spots. So uh, it is what it is for sure. Here's an 1883 Morgan dollar. Giant scratch out in the field there. Nice clean cheek, weak strike as normal for 83Os. Understand why this only greened. Got this Texas here. The thing I like about this Texas is the color that it has on the reverse. Nice original, but luster's not there, in my opinion. Um, when you take a look at the reverse, it's got this kind of greenish, reddish color. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my favorite, once again, 1921 piece, 64 CAC. I mean, wow, this coin's awesome. I like it a lot. And we got two more here, a Blast White Boone. It's great in Mint State 65. Definitely an easy green CAC, almost probably a shot at gold CAC. Nothing wrong with this coin, apart from a little haze on the reverse. And this is a coin that he bought from Great Collections. Nice envelope toner. Not too many issues or contact marks. Luster's there as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a custom to see that kind of weakness in, in terms of luster on the face and in the hair when a coin is held in an envelope for that long. Nice luster on the reverse though. Definitely a green CAC sticker. The infamous gold sticker. So we had three coins in this submission that ended up gold stickering. Uh, the one that I wanna show you guys first is this 1936 Texas commemorative half. It's created MS64 by PCGS. Uh, yeah, it's got some haze on the obverse and uh, it's got some decent luster for sure. There's not many hits on the coin, and that's why I think it gold stickered. I showed this coin to you guys because I have a problem, okay? Every coin that ends up gold stickering, I sell early. And every coin that I keep to send to CEC never even stickers or just green stickers. So I have a problem. Uh, I sell this to a client of ours, and then he submitted it with us, and it ended up gold stickering. So 
I need to take some notes on some gold stickers, but yeah, let's show you guys the rest of the gold stickers that we got. So it's not a bad day for three gold stickers. We just talked about the Texas here. We'll talk a little bit more about its haze. So I just didn't like the hazy look of this coin, but it's all there in terms of originality. Very happy it's stickered, uh, especially gold stickered for our friend Colin. It's gonna make a nice addition to his set. I know he's trying to assemble a gold sticker set, especially for Texas. Those can be pretty easy in Rattlers. Next one I want to show you guys is this Oregon. It's created MS-65. Uh, it has some haze on it as well, but in terms of hits, it's a very strong piece. Probably a nice 66 plus today or 67. Let's try to show you guys the reverse here. The sticker is a little bit tough, but as far as I can tell, not too many problems on this coin, apart from the haze on the obverse. Just a really neat piece, very original. The last gold cack I want to show you guys is this 1879. Three cent nickel, it's great proof 64. I like this coin a lot based on the color, almost like a joker look color to it. And now that I mention it, I sold this coin to him as well and it ended up gold stickering. So definitely a bittersweet moment here. I'm gonna have to cry a little bit more tonight, but I don't see too many problems with this coin. Maybe I just need to do more due diligence, but nonetheless, it did get a gold bean. Love these coins.